Hey up everybody and welcome back to yet another Villa Games video. Back to back videos both for Blob on Sapel because of course the women's race is also taking part tomorrow. Um, so let's just go straight into it. Let's face it, Anamik Van Voyten is just the person to pick on your team and I'm sure as hell not going against her so let's just get it out of the way. Put Anamik Van Voyten on your team because she's just a beast. And she's one of like the best, if not the best, rider in the women's peloton. So, and let's just just get that out of the way. Anna Van Vleuten goes on your team. What I've got here is just a mix of a lot of riders, I guess. Um, just because there aren't that many riders in the twenty point category, so you're going to be having a lot of those middle tier kind of riders. Um, I know some of them, not all of them. Uh, but I'm going to try and provide some guidance here for those of you who might not know. A lot about women's racing. So, Mavi Garcia, her I have on next. She's, you might know it. She's the Spanish champion, I think. Um, she might not be at the moment, but she definitely has been. Uh, she almost, I can't remember. She almost beat, like she was going head to head with Annemiek van Vleuten in that really hot Stladi Bianchi last year, and I think that she's a really good just Ardennes style rider very good at climbing so this should shoot her down to the ground of course you've got uh, Elisa uh, Balsamo and Chantal van der Broek Black uh, both again uh, Balsamo I had on last time for Shelter Press I think that she's maybe a bit more of a sprinter so it's difficult to say I'm not quite sure whether to pick her because this isn't especially a sprinter's race I don't think um, so I'm tempted to go against her there. Of course, SD Works always bring a really good team here, so that's why I've got Demi following on my team. Of course, I could take off Mavi Garcia or one of these other riders and put on uh, like Chantal um, as well, just to cover those two really good SD Works riders. Um, I must admit, when it gets down to these kind of uh, lower point riders like 14, I'm not overly sure as to what kind of type of rider they are. Of course, Ashley Mulman is the um, South African really good climber. Quite good at one day races, perhaps. She'd prefer something with some large climbs, so maybe not one for her. Um, but, you know, you got uh, Lucinda Brand here as well. Um, Leah Kirkman and Juliette Leboos for Team DSM, both really good. Leah Kirkman, especially, she's a very good puncher from Canada. Um, I think that, but for some reason, doesn't go massively well in one day races. For some reason, she's very much a very she's a really good stage racer and kind of stage hunter. Uh, but maybe not for maybe not for this. Um, but I like Annie San Sebast San Sebastian. Sorry, bit of a mouthful there for me to get out. Um, I think that she's probably the the person perhaps for. Team Bike Exchange, of course, without an Amanda Spratt or a Grace Brown here. I think that the responsibility will fall on her. And I think for 10 points, that's really good um, value for money. The thing is with women's racing is that you usually get a lot of the same winners a lot of the time. So, which is why I'm tempted to perhaps go with, like, you could go Chantal here. You lose um, Amelia Farlin and go with a four-pointer. Obviously, I'm not massively sure who you'd go with, um, but I'd probably go with Gloria Rodriguez because more than likely, Anamik Van Vleuten wins, you get assist points. You know, we, 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 can, we know how the basics of Vela Games works here. Um, of course, that, that's just one option. That gives you the two big SD Works riders. I think this is a great team. If you're looking for probably quite a, a safe team with a lot of the main riders, probably go with something like this. If you're looking for something a bit crazier, I'd probably I'd probably go with some of these middle tier riders. So an Amelia Farlin and also who did I have one before? Um But you just got you got so many riders here who could really surprise like um Arlud. Um I've put her on my teams before, she's good. Michaela Harvey, um Lauren Stevens. I'm 
think I might go with Michaela Harvey in it. I'm just having a bit of a brainwave here. Um, fact of the matter is, I think that that to this team, which is on the screen now, would be more of like the slightly uh, adventurous pick um, without some of the surefire like these riders are definitely going to do well kind of thing but I think that with women's racing because it's so open and really just exciting in that manner a lot of riders can win so you could pick quite a lot of these riders who are 14 points down to 10 points and they will they can all do quite well but I think if you're I'd probably be picking uh, Kathleen Arlud. I'd be picking maybe Lucinda Brand. Um, I'd be picking uh, maybe Juliette Lebou. Uh, San Sebastian. And. Oh, Neve Fisher Black as well. Yes. Um, she. I think I remember. Yeah, she did well in the. Uh, the women's Giro Rosa last year so just another one on your list if you need an eight pointer um, and a plitcher and or maybe Georgia Williams Ruth Winder I think if you're looking oh Lucy Kennedy actually is six points for a bike exchange that's a really good pick so is Hannah Ludwig, um, six pointer for the uh, Canyon Shram team. Just going down these kind of smaller riders now. Maybe Corin Rivera, perhaps this might be a bit too hard for her. Leah Thomas was looking really good in the women's Tour of Flanders, but of course she'll probably be working for Annemiek van Vleuten. Um, Taylor Wiles, very similar um, for the Trek Segafredo team. Of course, they did not bring an Elisa Wonga Borghini or a Lizzie Diagman, um, who will be more familiar names to to you and to me. Um, so therefore, they'll have a bit more of an open roster, more opportunities. Um, I think you'll see a lot of names which perhaps maybe you haven't seen before going on the attack. So I'm thinking, overall, I'm not sure who I'm going to pick on my team yet. I think for certain you want Annemiek van Vleuten. I think that Demi Vollering is a really good pick as well. Um, and I think that San Sebastian, San Sebastian, <laughs> oh my goodness, how do you say that? Santi, Santi, Tisban, San Sebastian, Santi, I don't know. And you know what? That's probably a good point just to cut the embarrassment and uh, just say, pick Van Vleuten, pick Vollering, and keep your masks on, stay safe. And I'll talk to you for Amstel Gold Race.